yes so yeah mm, so uh, all uh, dear participants myself dr smith lende working as assistant professor in post graduate institute of fisheries education and research kamdhenu university uh, rajpur nawa himmatnagar i have done phd in uh, aquaculture from college of fisheries uh, jeu veraval uh, the topic of my phd research was with the dna barcoding uh, i have done uh, dna barcoding of so many fishes under the guidance of dr s i yusuf jai sir uh, I, we, that time i was working as a sra uh, we have one collaborative project and uh, in that we have uh, barcoded more than 118 species of entire Gujarat coast starting from Surat to Jafarabad. Uh, so this is my little uh, present uh, means uh, introduction. And uh, I was uh, started working with Kamdenu University since from April 2016. And now I am working as a uh, in charge director of Center of Excellence in Aquaculture, um, uh, which is at Upai. Uh, yesterday only I have told about uh, the. Uh, coe coe is the uh, uh, state uh, funded uh, um, project and uh, we are developing new innovations technique and meanwhile we are uh, every month we are going to organize trainings for aquapreneurs uh, ornapreneurs uh, then all farmers fishermen and uh, all the community staff so today my topic of uh, discussion is on aquascaping an innovative art for shaping aquarium uh, dear participants actually aquarium industry is a huge industry uh, where uh, sky is the limit because uh, only selling aquarium by fabricating them uh, and keeping fish uh, will not solve the purpose uh, presently uh, i am working as a advisory consultant and i am happy to share that our in our ahmedabad region uh we are coming uh, up with a uh, very huge oceanarium project in collaboration with science city uh, that pro project cost is around 250 more than 250 crore uh, where uh, a 75 liter uh, of tunnel uh, is there along with uh, 70 more than uh, 80 uh, aquarias are there um so that uh, i am working there as a uh, advisory consultant uh, so Basically, if we start with the introduction, so aquarium is a Latin word. If we split up the uh, word, so aqua is a water and arium is a place uh, for uh, relating to hobby, pleasure and fun. So in uh, normal sense, uh, if we define aquarium, so aquarium is a transparent tank or a bowl or a, an artificial pool where live fishes and other aquatic animals are kept. If we see some history, historical point, uh, so it was uh, Samurai uh, Samarian uh, that says uh, that it was uh, started uh, as a whole. Previously, uh, uh, people are used uh, uh, to culture the species in ponds and tanks uh, more than 4,500 years. The Roman Empire started keeping this uh, indoor uh, in a sea barrel uh, in 50 uh, glass of panel. There are some uh, photographic evidences of ancient uh, glass aquarium and glass uh, aquarium of the Romans. So uh, Philip Henry goes, uh, he is uh, uh, one of the uh, scientists who is working with the is a nature biologist. Who, who is uh, unveiling the wonder of the deep sea uh, and uh, in 1857. So he comes up with the uh, London Zoo Fish House in 1857. Uh, this was the first uh, commercial uh, means uh, public aquaria uh, where, where people are uh, seeing the uh, beauties inside the um, uh, uh, transparent tanks. So basically, if we categorize aquarium, there are two types of aquarium. That one is fresh water and second one is the marine water tank. So several famous aquariums, uh, public aquariums uh, throughout India uh, are well known, are listed here. Uh, like uh, Kolam Aquarium uh, in Kerala, then uh, Bangalore Aquarium in Bangalore, then Kolkata Aquaria, Kankaria Aquaria, Lalbagh Aquaria, 
and uh, like um, this marine biological research station at ratnagiri and tarapur wala aquarium at mumbai so top 10 public aquaria and oceanarium uh, i have uh, presented in the site <coughs> so now the industry is come up with the uh, this aquarium industry is not a small industry uh, but is uh, come up with the uh, and rejoin the uh, as a uh, and uh, opens a new era with the hotel structures and all they uh, these are the least of the hotels uh, where you can enjoy the pleasure while eating and uh, you can uh, book your resort uh, for one night uh, means uh, they are the uh, hotels uh, where you can uh, accommodate uh, means accommodation facilities are there uh, it will start with uh, rupees 35000 rupees with a luxurious suite uh, and end with the Uh, one lakh rupees of uh, um, uh, for uh, one night stay. So this is the potential of aquarium. Simply by constructing aquarium and keeping the fishes uh, will not solve the purpose. But uh, maintaining it and maintaining the delicacy and underwater beauty with the plants and other thing. This is the topic of present um, uh, of my presentation today. so uh, we will see the benefits of uh, aquarium why people are uh, preferring to keep uh, aquarium at the home uh, so first one it reduces your stress level improves your sleep quality lowers your blood pressure and heart rate decrease your <coughs> pain and uh, anxiety uh, improve your focus and creativity and calming effect to the children uh, Uh, coming to the next point why aquariums uh, has uh, uh, prefer uh, according to the vastu shastra because nowadays uh, everybody is uh, uh, means inter uh, is planning to have new home as per the vastu shastra and to reduce uh, the vastu dosh and all that thing aquarium uh, is playing a vital role so here are some points uh according to that uh, this is uh, uh, if someone is keeping aquarium is the home uh, so it will be get benefited because if you wanted to be an entrepreneur in the industry so that time you need to market your uh, product unless and until the layman is knowing the benefit of that uh, you cannot be a good entrepreneur so why i am uh, put uh, kept this slide in my presentation is only to marketize this thing to the layman uh, to understand uh, him and to deliver your uh, product uh, to him so uh, <coughs> there are several advantages like fish aquarium is associated with generating positive energy and uh, eventually facing out an negative in a uh, negativity from your house fish which are active and healthy brings good fortune and joy feels uh, if you, uh, anybody is feeling stress by observing their activities in the uh, pot uh, means uh, in the tank one will feel calm and relaxed <coughs> feeding fishes uh, which add up uh, to your good karma in ancient history as uh, in uh, many of the uh, scriptures it has been written that machliyon ko khana khilane se punya aapka badhta hai since fish are uh, believed to be a first uh, <coughs> reincarnation of god vishnu uh, they are said to be the source of positive energy and vastu shastra believe that at least one of the your problem will diminish with the natural death of any fish in the aquarium um, dear participant uh, actually <coughs> there are too much videos which are available on the youtube which uh, will emphasize uh, you to keep your uh, means uh, to keep aquarium at the home uh, because aisi manyata hai ki machliyon ka guzar jana ya mar jana aapke upar aayi hui badhaon ka nishkaran karti hai it is believed that colorful and attractive fish will grab the attention to your guest thereby observing all the negative energy and converting it into the positive one then 
then main uh, today's main topic of our discussion is aquascaping <coughs> the dear participant uh, as dr uh, jha sir told in uh, his earlier presentation that aqua uh, aquarium keeping it is the second largest hobby after the photography globally there is uh, there is a huge opportunities in the india to explore uh, the resources and to generate the technical manpower to manage the huge aquaria which is uh, which has been uh, constructed uh, earlier and uh, about to construct in the near future so uh, aquarium uh, is not only a tank it is a uh, actually a, a place where you can uh, articulate it uh, uh, architect uh, you by using your architecture brain and your art you can skip it <clears throat> there are several aquarium services uh, which are uh, going uh, means uh, which are in the market like uh, but just selling the aquarium with uh, some fishes and some uh, accessories will not solve the purpose there are some uh, you will astonish to know that some uh, aquarium keepers are uh, means uh, they are uh, maintaining uh, your aquarium uh, on uh, means uh, by providing the services to the customer they are regularly have a uh, they are charging and maintenance charge for uh, main, uh, ke keeping your uh, aquarium healthy then there are several aqua keepers uh, uh, in india uh, the trend has uh, recently started uh, that new aqua uh, means uh, keeping um, with underwater plants and all this thing uh, it has a, has a huge business in upcoming year and uh, third one is the fish libraries fish libraries is a concept where uh, by observing same kind of the fishes daily uh, with the same uh, 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 toys and uh, artificial plant uh, so uh, sometimes uh, it give um, uh, means uh, on daily basis uh, it gives and somewhat uh, means uh, boring to the means uh, the house keeper but the fish library is a new thing that at every one month uh, end of uh, month uh, the keepers uh, this uh, managers come to your home they change the fishes and change the background of the fishes now come to the our point what is aquascaping aquascaping is the aqua, again this word has split up into the two point aqua means water and scaping an ex, uh, extensive view and the scenery Aquascaping is a craft for arranging aquatic plant as well as rocks, stones, uh, uh, cave work, driftwood uh, uh, in an uh, <coughs> aesthetically pleasing manner uh, within an aquarium in effect of guarding underwater. Uh, so just like in landscaping, because nowadays the trends, uh, because previously it was told that uh, roti kapda and makan these are the th uh, three essential things for uh, living uh, in the society but nowadays people are too much hobbyistic that they are started decorating their uh, in, hello uh, they, they are keeping uh, this uh, means uh, they are maintaining the garden uh, in front of uh, their houses and uh, they need and uh, some uh, landscapers for uh, maintaining their uh, lawns and all that thing similarly aquascaping is the scaping of the art uh, which is under water so aquascaping design includes number of distinct styles like garden like dust style japanese inspired natural style etc uh, typically an aquascape house fish as well as uh, plant although it is possible to create an aquascape with the plant only or with the rock work or the uh, hard shape uh, and with without uh, plant so uh, here there are general classifications of the aquascaping like uh, uh, what are the dutch style japanese style so uh, by seeing and picture you will get a clear idea this is about the dutch style uh, scaping art then your natural style like you will see the stones uh, here uh, formatted uh, means covering with some moss structure and all that 
then uh, ugome style uh, with uh, some mosses like mountain like structure these are all under the water then your jungle style like crowds of uh, some driftwoods are here uh, lots of plantations are here uh, with the some small, small tiny fishes it give pleasure to the uh, means uh, anyone who is watching the uh, every day he will get an underwater pleasure then uh, this biotop it uh, don't uh, it has no plant only an rock structure with the driftwood uh, then uh, your paludariums uh, i will explain this uh, i have kept one uh, slide uh, to detail explanation about uh, paludariums uh, then your salt water reefs uh, so uh, my dear friends for making uh, this aquascaping you need to have a uh, very uh, means uh, you need to work very hard and uh, this is a uh, this is a uh, actually a skillful work um, it requires some patience as well as the money for uh, growing plant in the aquarium uh, simply by keeping uh, normal soil uh, is will not solve the purpose because we, uh, when you pour water inside uh, so it will uh, disturb your soil structure and uh, it will give your turbidity so special type of uh, soil and sands are available in the market uh, which is uh, you can order it from amazon and uh, flipkart also all uh, this side these are the special kinds of nutrient uh, soil uh, which you have to incorporate at the bottom uh, to grow your plants then classification of living plants as uh, scaping uh, requires some uh, plant so these are the general classification uh, the of hardiest aquarium plant then low tech <coughs> aquarium plant fast growing aquarium plant and low maintenance uh, low maintenance aquarium plant so these are the draft uh, picture uh, pictorial um, uh, evidences of this draft baby tear then your java moss draft uh, hair grass uh, amazon sward then uh, anubias nana and uh, so on <coughs> so for after uh, filling the soil in uh, aquarium you have to uh, plant this uh, you have to uh means uh, uh, for plantation purpose there are some special equipments are needed uh, these are these are the kits of the instrument uh, which is also available in the market uh, for cutting their proper placement without disturbing the soil uh, see how they are working at the right corner uh, for cutting uh, these knives uh, and uh, for putting stone Uh, some um, uh, this uh, equ means this uh, kids will be helpful so these are the drift food what is uh, exactly meaning of drift food drift food is the kind of food generally wood is having a tendency uh, it is having a water buoyancy when you uh, uh, throw any wood in the water it started floating on the water surface but uh, specially drift woods are the categories of the wood uh, if you uh, if uh, you uh, they this uh, aquascapers they are uh, selecting the uh, dead uh, wood um uh, which is having a peculiar shapes and structure and they allow to uh, uh, keep this wood in uh, in water by putting an um, uh, any load and keep for at least more than 6 to 7 months and uh, finally uh, uh, it will uh, means uh, it will <coughs> Uh, this will uh, remove the buoyancy of the wood and wood is uh, settled uh, at the bottom only so these are the some pictorials uh, of uh, articulated drift woods then uh, you have to need one uh, you have to need some rocks also to design uh, your aquarium so these are the uh, rocks uh, which are available on uh, available in market also and in general uh, if you are uh, going any river side or or on the mountain uh, these kind of the rocks uh, you will get over there so this is particularly i have to talk about this uh, pagoda rock 
uh, it's a sandstone rock uh, you will get this uh, rock uh, in the river beds of uh, many river uh, because of the uh, continuous movement of water the edges are uh, started appearing on the this uh, stone and uh, this uh, this stone uh, will uh, help in enhance the beauty of your aquarium then uh, for maintaining <clears throat> plants inside aquarium uh, you have to be very peculiar about your light assembly and all that so there are sophisticated instruments which are available in the market which control uh, your day, day, uh, daylight and then uh, at hour of intervals of time that uh, at the night time uh, what will be the frequency of light uh, it will maintain uh, by using this so uh, this light assembly particularly led lights and bulbs are used uh, which are rainbow color uh, which will help for the photosynthesis of your aquarium plant then some uh, instruments are there uh which are uh, these are uh, the first picture is of canister filter uh, then you are uh, this protein skimmer and uh, but obvious for the marine aquarium if you uh, anyone is interested to keep the marine aquarium in uh, home uh, so is needed with uh, the waiver structure so for maintaining aquarium uh, with the plant uh, there is a huge need of uh, because plant need and carbon dioxide and it is a nutrient uh, for plant to uh, in order to grow th those plant so uh, in three forms uh, this uh, for aquarium maintaining uh, planted aquarium in home uh, so the uh, liquid form is available in the market with the tablet form and the, with the uh, gaseous form uh, all are available in the market uh, then <coughs> ammonia plays an important role uh, it is directly reflecting with your um, aquarium fishes so ammonium chloride uh, product is used to uh, reduce the toxicity of ammonia several kits are available in the market uh, which uh, scapers are generally using Uh, to maintain the healthy aquarium uh, so this is a uh, small video of uh, pladurarism so this is uh, you can see here uh, this is the new concept uh, of scaping uh, aquarium you can see one uh, waterfall inside the aquarium uh, inside that uh, stones are placed and uh, some mosses and uh plants uh, are arranged in a very systematically manner one motor is uh, placed at the bottom uh, which uh, allows to flow the water uh, in the uh, uh, all these assemblies are is kept inside the aquarium only Uh, generally uh, in this type of aquarium small fishes along with the turtles are preferred to keep uh, inside this aquarium uh, then the concept of riparium comes riparium is a uh, type of aquarium in which stones are kept and uh, these plants are allowed to grow outside the water and uh, small sand uh, means sand is used and uh, in this type of aquarium uh, small and tiny fishes are kept uh, generally neon tetra moly uh, guppy and sw swart tail because these fishes are having tendency to move in the uh, crowd <clears throat> the plants variety they are you can easily collect this plant uh, by visiting uh, water hyacinth is available uh, in uh, near rivers uh, in hydrilla plant and all that plant uh, you will use uh, uh, for uh, preparation of your riparium then third one is the terrarium so terrarium uh, is a concept Uh, in which uh, uh, aquarium uh, or a uh, glass chambers are used 
in which uh, generally sometimes it uh, uh, kept with the fishes and sometimes it is an only an structure uh, where mosses and small herbs are uh, going allowed to grow so the, this uh, this uh, this is the new concept in the our in our industry that one uh, and these are very costliest one we can easily fabricate this uh, inside our home and uh, grow the, the small herb plant uh, inside uh, this terrarium there are several uh, models of terrarium available on uh, available in market uh, you can uh, uh, buy it from amazon also actually the nutrient type of sprays are spr uh, just uh, sprinkle on the uh, plant in order to get them moist and uh, foremost requirement to maintain terraria is of light because uh, of, for photosynthesis reaction and all that so uh, coming to the next slide uh what is the difference between your normal aquarium is your paludarium your riparium and terrarium so uh, the we if we are talking about the container that is aquarium so uh, in all sense like uh, in aquarium paludarium riparium yes you need an aquarium but uh, in terrarium sometimes you need uh, but uh, yeah, it is uh, fabric it is the inside the glass only and uh, it is uh, the procedure to prepare the terraria is same as uh, to uh, construct an uh, aquarium like same type of silicon glue is used with same type of uh, glasses uh, you can use to prepare terraria the <coughs> environment if we concern an environment aquarium complete water uh, in paludaria generally tropical uh, then your riparium water is needed and uh, in terrarium generally it is an arid one then uh, humidity if we talk about humidity in paludarium it is high normal and low then co2 injection sometimes uh, in aquarium sometimes in paludarium riparium sometimes in terrarium uh, no injection of co2 is needed then your water uh, yes it is mandatory in all three uh accepting terrarium a uh, little water you have to spray uh, daily uh, in order to get them moist uh, <clears throat> then land uh, in aquarium land uh, the, sometime yes or no paludarium yes you have to need a land uh, then your riparium yes little bit land is needed and uh, your terrarium yes uh, then plant uh, sometime majority of the aquarium keepers are used to uh, keep uh, artificial plants uh, in their aquarium but in paludarium yes you need an plant uh, riparium yes and terrarium uh, sometimes uh, because uh, mainly uh, it is a game of uh, herbs and uh, small uh, mosses uh, then your aquatic animals aquatic animals uh, include um, your fishes uh, means uh, your turtles and all that so sometimes 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 and a semi aquatic animals mainly um, uh, in paludarium most of the hobby sticks they are keeping and reptiles uh, inside that <coughs> so this is the new concept again uh, what is your mosarium so mosarium is also commonly referred as uh, referred to as mosaria it is a clear enclosure used to grow special uh, especially mosses the prefix of moss and the small uh, flowerless rootless plant that uh, grow in the clumps together mosarium as a word uh, would uh, translate a container of moss moss uh, mosaria which uh, would be uh, which would be used uh, to describe the multiple mosses terrarium uh, or a room dedicated to rootless plant uh, actually mosses uh, are generally uh, grow inside the aquariums also uh, it is uh, having the good um, uh, good uh, say, means good uh, substratum for your uh, tiny shrimp uh, tiny uh, aquarium shrimp 
then most uh, in india till today uh, aquascapers uh, are uh, means uh, professional aquascapers are la uh, lacking but these are this is the list of 10 topmost aquascapers in the world it started with the uh, takshi amano he is a well known aquascapers from japan and uh, i want to tell his uh, success story that amano takshi is was born uh, in 1954 uh, he is basically a japanese landscape uh, photographer he was engaged uh, in uh, photography of uh, he has taken uh, more photographs in Amazons and uh, uh, the places where uh, human interruption is very low. But <coughs> uh, after uh, uh, taking the photograph, he has started uh, to develop this scaping idea inside the home. And uh, his, uh, his one scape aquarium will cost around 5 lakhs uh, rupees uh, in the market. So conclusion for today's session is aquascaping is an art which allows you to create an underwater landscape. To, uh, to scape aquarium tank will take hours and it is a, uh, it is a hard work and uh, needs and patience. <coughs> aquascaping is about uh, exploring with uh, diversity of flora and uh, hardscape to produce beautiful aquarium. A tank can take a month to reach its peak. So, it's a, uh, so patience is the only key. When it comes to the cost, because uh, uh, this is a uh, skill of art, uh, but uh, when you wanted to uh, sell it, so sky is the limit because which kind of rocks or which kind of uh, uh, driftwood or which kind of uh, plant uh, you have uh, used to scape the aquarium. Uh, so that's why uh, sky is the limit uh, in terms of cost. It offers the good opportunity for the ornapreneurs, particularly young spirits, fisheries professional graduates, uh, to explore their knowledge and skill uh, to develop a uh, good kind of uh, aquascaping. So for uh, more uh, ideas of aquascaping and all that, uh, here is my one page on Pinterest tab. Uh, you can, uh, there are hundreds, uh, thousands of ideas are there, how to scape your uh, aquarium, which kind, uh, which kind of driftwood, uh, then uh, you will use how uh, you can, uh, means uh, on regular basis, if you are uh, visiting towards mountains or riverside, which kind of rocks uh, will be select uh, for uh, scaping your uh, aquaria. Uh, so uh, all are available uh, in my uh, this uh, Pinterest page. Uh, so uh, one Lino uh, Linova Levis, he's a uh, actually a music writer. As he told, I love nature and enjoy learning new skills. And uh, as uh, our honorable prime minister uh, uh, told yesterday uh, about uh, Swalambe Bharat and Atmanirbhar Bharat, so this is the right time uh, for uh, young entrepreneurs uh, to come up with the new skill uh, of art and to develop this industry uh, and to uh, become a good entrepreneur in the market. One success story I want to tell uh, about uh, India, uh, in India, actually one of our uh, seniors from Ratnagiri Fisheries College, uh, Dr. Uh, Mr. Rupesh uh, Sapkar, sir. Uh, he is uh, uh, a professional aquascaper and uh, aquarium uh, in aquarium industry. Uh, he has um, uh, achieved a lot uh, by uh, implementing his uh, new and good idea uh, in the field of uh, aquarium industry. Uh, so, uh, if you, you have time, just visit utekarfisheries.com. So, thank you very much for uh, today's uh, for patience listening. Uh, so, hello, uh, sir, uh, uh, Sajid, sir, please. Uh, yeah, yeah, Smith, yeah, please. Haan, sir. Yes, sir. Haan, it was haan. a wonderful presentation, Dr. Smith. Haan, haan.
and uh, you have covered almost all the uh, good aspects uh, with the, uh, i mean taking care about minute details so it was really wonderful lecture and because sir uh, in aquascaping uh, as a fisheries professional uh, many of the uh, means uh, majority of the participants are not knowing about uh, which kind of kits is to be used uh, generally uh, all things are available in the market sir but, and it is an huge potential for young spirit uh, to come up with uh, this uh, idea and uh, become an uh, entrepreneur uh, or ornapreneur in this industry sir yes yes and uh, these new concepts you know uh, about aquascaping these are gaining momentum and uh, everyone should be aware of these new concepts it was really good lecture thank you uh, krishnan sir yes uh, dr smith uh, you did a wonderful job actually i was uh, actually i updated my information so many things uh, were pretty new to me and uh, i could actually learn uh, fresh gain fresh knowledge uh, from your uh, talk and uh, i am amazed that uh, the kind of opportunities that you have generated for the young people who are uh, listening to uh, this mooc wow. see how much of uh, opportunities are there for them to uh, engage uh, develop themselves into aqua um, escaping and the kind of equipment that they can sell in the market and they can develop themselves into entrepreneurs in addition to that so many so much of scope is there for after sales service uh, possibilities yeah. so it's only uh, their their growth the growth of the youngsters as uh, entrepreneurs or aquapreneurs whatever you call them uh, it is only limited by their imagination so you have opened today with your lecture a wide spectrum of opportunities a wide spectrum of opportunities so that is what i uh, i would like to uh, tell you i mean yeah. it's a very good lecture and uh, best wishes thank you thank you thank you so anyone is having question please unmute yourself ask the question very good presentation man ha yeah, sir thank you sir <laughs> Uh, sir, you, uh, you attended all sessions, sir. Ah, complete. I was here only. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll thank call you. Ah, okay, you okay. finish this and then. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much uh, for all uh, participants uh, to join with us today. Uh, tomorrow we are having uh, two lectures with us uh, with the fresh water breedings and the marine water breeding. Uh, so uh, for tomorrow's lecture the link will be shared to your email address as well as on the whatsapp group um, and krishnan sir i will take uh, your demo trial in the afternoon sir yeah smith uh, yeah it was very good lecture and uh, it was definitely going to help the as you mentioned that uh, people who are really interested in ornamental uh, fisheries business and you have covered almost uh, all the basic and uh, advanced type of uh, uh aquaria which can be utilized which can be convert uh, in uh, aquascaping thank you for such a nice presentation thank you ha uh, sir doctor yes sir yeah sir. yeah there are some questions in chat asked by some students and other people one minute there is a two three good questions are there if you can answer uh, uh what about the liquid fertilizer can you say a little bit uh, yeah uh, shibam uh, actually about liquid fertilizer ready kits are available in the market uh, while circulating uh, the notes to uh, to you after this session i will uh, uh, particularly uh, because uh, the time was limited uh, and uh, surely we have to use the liquid fertilizer like npk content for uh, uh, growth of the plant uh so i will uh, share the details to all participant uh, in my notes uh, after this class session uh shibam sahaya has asked one another question can you suggest any particular wood 
as uh, believe normal woods become the slimy after uh, some day actually shivam uh, for me preparation of your drift food um, one thing uh, we have to keep in the mind uh, the uh, we have to use the drift food only uh, a, a wood of the mature plant uh, in that um, the scales of uh, the external skin uh, i face this problem uh, with uh, slimy nature and all that but just by removing the scales of those plant uh, the slime uh, problem is solved हेलो कौन सा क्वेश्चन विशाल लूथर हैज वन क्वेश्चन सर आफ्टर एक्वास्केपिंग हाउ कैन वी मेंटेन द वाटर पैरामीटर एंड रेगुलर साइफनिंग या सम सोफेस्टिकेटेड इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स आर रियली नीडेड व्हेन योर एक्वेरियम इज फुल ऑफ स्केप्ड एंड आर्ट Uh, so for on regular basis i have mentioned the uh, type of commercial kits available in the market uh, some ph papers and alkalinity and temperature and uh, for replacing water but obvious uh, you have to use uh, the canister filter uh, on regular basis which can uh, remove the impurities from the water uh, and uh, maintain the clear and calm water inside your aquarium ha uh. हाँ जी शर्मा जी नमस्कार बोलिए सर नमस्कार सर हम हिंदी मीडियम वाले पे पूछिए शर्मा जी हिंदी मीडियम वाले को है हम तो कुछ उस हिसाब से थोड़ी व्यवस्था हो जाए ना मैं आपको फोन करता हूँ शर्मा जी आपको मैं बताऊंगा सर ठीक है सर ठीक है थैंक यू हाँ जी हाँ जी सर लेयर पार्टिसिपेंट्स शर्मा जी इज फ्रॉम राजस्थान ही इज होल्डिंग मोर देन थ्री एक्वेरियम शॉप्स इन राजस्थान स्टेट ही इज बेसिकली ऑफ मीन फ्रॉम सिंस फ्रॉम लास्ट ट्वेंटी इयर्स ही इज इन द फील्ड और हिज एज ऑफ नाउ इज मोर देन सिक्सटी वन ईयर and uh, he is a special participant on special request uh, we have joined him for this course sharma ji main aapko phone karta hu sir theek hai sir thank you ha ji ha ji so thank you very much uh, all participant for uh, patience full listening thank you sir thank you bye thank you bye Smith Smith Okay